Hi, Tyson Fury here. Greedy Belly. What's going on, you guys? So last time we heard the fight between Tyson Fury and Alexander Usyk was supposed to be happening sometime in April. But wait, there's more. Tyson Fury now says that the rematch clause, how about you take no rematch clause at all? Hit that like button for your boy. Give me that HBO special. That's the Help a Brother Out special. We on the road to 100,000 subscribers. But this Usyk Fury thing, right? Fans imagine that this thing would have happened by now because there's nowhere else for either guy really to go unless Fury wants to have another fight with Wilder unless Usyk wants to tackle the task of the bronze bomber who by the way is talking with Francis Ngannou and making a fight with him but Usyk and Fury looked like it was going to be happening after it looked like it wasn't going to be happening looked like it was going to be happening now it's looking like it's not going to be happening Team Usyk came out publicly, called Fury's bluff, said that he'll publicly take the 70-30, but you got to donate to Ukraine for a cause, right? Hi, Tyson Fury here. Just a quick one. I've been speaking to the lawyers today, and Usyk's people are talking about rematch clauses and all that bollocks. Here's one to up the antes. How about there is no fucking rematch clause for both of us? Let's up the antes completely. Never worry about what's in the future and how many more dollars you can get after you've been defeated. Worry about the fight. April 29th, no rematch clause. The winner takes the glory. The loser goes home with his dick in his hand. How about that? Agree to that, you fucking bitch. Really belly. Rematch clause comes from your side, not mine. Stop whining and ducking. Be a man. In the contract or vacate the belt. I need and dispute it. And not to play your stupid games. I mean, what more do Usa got to do to get this dude in the ring? And in a, in a fight of that magnitude, with all the belts on the line, undisputed heavyweight championship, why wouldn't it be a rematch clause in that fight? I mean, that's just. Tyson Fury is trying to find a way to get out of the fight, folks. And this is what Team Usyk is believing now at this particular point because they feel now that they called his bluff by accepting a 70-30 split, which initially should have been 60-40. The winner gets the lion's share of the purse, right? That was the thing that Team Usyk was looking forward to doing with the original split, 60-40. The winner gets the 60%, which ain't really been done in boxing before. But in this case, I think it, I think it would have been fair in that, in that, in that fight. Nope. Fury said, nope, I'm not taking it. It's not happening. He wants 80 million to 125 million. Team Usyk said, okay, we'll take the 70. We'll take the 30%. Then you get the 70%, but you got to donate a million dollars to the Ukraine. Something like that, right? Tyson Fury said, okay, whatever. We got to fight. Boom. Look like we got to fight in April. Nope. Hold your brakes. Nope. Tyson Fury just comes out of nowhere with more demands, right? More demands. Rematch clause. How about not, neither one of us take the rematch clause and you know, he, he seemed to be pretty angry and saying this, calling him a, a the B and, you know, Fury. And, I think Tyson Fury is losing a lot of a lot of pull with fans. Um, even the guys that was really diehard Fury fans is kind of scratching their head as to what's going on. Why you ain't fighting this guy? Um, and, and like what was left for you, you know, but he's trying to get the most out of this fight. And he's trying to really at this point, what more could you take squeeze out of Usyk? He's the under he's the unified champion. Um, he's undefeated. He's a former undisputed champion at Cruiserweight. I mean, what more could you do to Usyk, right? Even Eddie Hearn came out and said that Tyson Fury is being greedy. Um, he, he and he's not keeping it real. You know, he says it's not about the money, but you still haven't donated to the to the homeless stuff like that, right? Eddie Hearn was coming for him. A lot of the guys on the, on that side of the world seems to be pretty disgusted and annoyed by Tyson Fury and his antics. Will we ever get this fight between Usyk? I don't know. He seemed to be pulling out hurdles and hurdles every step of the way. And Usyk is going to continue to jump him until he eventually land right in front of Tyson Fury. But we'll see it if it happens if Fury don't run away. Like, subscribe, hot your boy. Peace out.